Is the face aging app just good viral fun? Or are you sending your photo to the Russian government? You guys know about this face app? Um, you know, you gotta be old if you wanna be cool. Everybody's posting pictures of how they look when they're cool. It's so irritating. Like, people see 100,000 people do it and they're just like, don't forget about me. I gotta do it too. I gotta be part, Ugh, it's just so irritating. And face app, this is the best they could come up with. How about phone app? How about photo app? Like, camera app? A lot of, uh, a lot of money saved by coming up with that name. So you know how I found this bunch of celebrities? Uh, I typed in celebrity face app and I knew some trash website would have it. In this case, it's uh, People Magazine. So here you go, you got NSYNC, got an old NSYNC, the old Jonas Brothers, old Entourage. For some reason, Johnny Drama isn't affected by this, so I don't know why they, they put that one up there. And I don't know what this is from Jared Leto, but it's hilarious. This just looks like a Jared Leto character. This just looks like they took it from on set of one of his movies. You know what he looks like, though, actually? He looks like a, if you've got a single mother and she's like 60 and she starts dating a hippie stoner guy. <laughs> she starts sleeping with this guy who really, like, expands her spirituality and everything. <laughs> Anyways, people are pointing out, uh, kind of like Snapchat, that... This is now a method for the company to use your face and sell it for anything they want. Some people said Snapchat's the CIA. Uh, some people are saying now that this face app thing is Russian. I'm thinking more of along the lines as lines of if the government needs to find you and you've been missing for a while or you're a fugitive or something like that, they now know what you look like at any age. Or they're just going to make porn out of it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're just going to make the deep fake pornos using your face and then that's how they're going to get you. They're going to, you commit any crimes or you do anything that the government doesn't like. Well, they're just like, oh, we've noticed you were in some pornography with a, with a donkey. Uh, so, but here's the thing. All social media is like this. I don't know if people understand this. This used to be a thing. Privacy used to be a thing back when they started you know, rolling these things out and people are like, uh, you get to own everything. When Instagram first came out, everybody was up in an uproar because it said, everything you post on here now belongs to us. Because people were seeing their faces in ads, they were seeing it in places that weren't theirs, and people didn't like it, and they got over it. They And once, and this, the weird thing is, this is what Alex Jones used to say, you guys. He used to say that they're going to keep taking away your privacy and then just act like it's normal. Don't know. Don't ask me. Look into it. So Facebook, Instagram, they own anything you post. Hence people that steal people's content and just post it. Uh, it's not against the rules. You don't own it anymore. And if you're looking for privacy, social media isn't really the place to go. So here's what people are saying when they look up the terms for this face app. So this one's from my dude. Uh, that's the point with Brandon. Saw this on his. You grant FaceApp a perpetual, irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide, fully played, transferable, sub-licensable, license to use, reproduce, modify, adapt, publish, translate, blah, 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 in all media formats and channels now known or later developed without compensation to you. So we can use your face to any for anything we want forever. Here's another one. Somebody sent this one to me, Miss Royally Fit. No offense to you. You're a hot chick, but I don't follow you. From Uber Facts, FaceApp, which has recently gone viral for its age filter, now owns access to more than 150 people's faces and names. According to their user agreement, the company owns a never-ending, irrevocable, royalty-free license to do almost anything they wish with them. So, of course, that's obviously true, and people aren't going to care, but I think they should have to reveal what they do with your information. It's the same thing that 23andMe and uh, the DNA things were... You send in your spit in a jar, <laughs> and they tell you what continent you might possibly be from. Uh, very riveting information there. But they own your DNA. So the government has your DNA, your face, your location, how you would look in 20 years, how you'd look in 50 years, um, everywhere you've gone from Google, and everything you like from Facebook. 
and everything you say from Twitter, you're screwed. <laughs> so if you're looking for privacy on social media, it's probably not best to do it. Just always remember the picture of Mark Zuckerberg, the Zuck, where he's got uh, tape over his camera and his audio port. And just remember, yeah, he's more li likely to have his stuff stolen, but that just goes to show you that somebody can just look at you through your phone. They can listen to you through your laptop. Just think about all the devices in your living room right now. Your phone, your TV, your laptop, your PlayStation, your Xbox. You know, in the CIA leaks, the Vault 7 leaks a couple years ago, Xbox 360s could take an infrared scan of your house and smart Samsung smart TVs. I think Samsung or LG, one of the two. One of the ones that I had, whatever, or <laughs> had a camera in it, a forward-facing camera that you don't have access to. So all that together, you know, we're screwed. Um, remember, Mark Zuckerberg would lie to you, but I wouldn't lie to you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>